morning everybody, how y'all doing? Well, I made a new friend. I guess if he comes through again, I told me if he ever has any more troubles, hit me up, he says, do you ever get up to where I live? Call me up, we'll go out for supper. I'm like, cool. Very nice guy. Uh, I finally understand where he's from. He's a Bosnian. And uh, he's been here for oh quite a while. 90s or so he's been here. It's just so very nice guy. And luckily, uh, the auto parts store that I got going to for machine work had the hose. So we got him back together and going and he's got about he needed to be at his next drop. He's hauling pot and soil. So, yeah, my day started early. The one place I wanted to go to that was local, uh, they didn't open. <laughs> I thought they opened at 7. They didn't. So, the place up there had it, and we went and got it. So, I told him one price, and he gave me a lot more than what I told him. I mean, he actually did the work. My knee, <laughs> my right knee, I knew I did too much yesterday. I'm paying for it today. It's swollen up again. So I'm going to try and sit on my butt as much as I can. I don't know. So I've already made one trip to the one town and I said, oh, I'll see you guys here in a little later. Because I got stuff to take up so he can uh, get done. And I, I just felt good. He's like, I'm glad you stopped and helped me I said, he, he, he so I'll see make sure that ain't him yep it wasn't him it was somebody else and you know who you are you drive a dump truck <laughs> oh shucks no tell him something just felt right me stopping and helping him last night he says well he would have had a service truck come out and that I know it would have cost him a lot more and you know I didn't do much I ran him around he got the parts and I was going to climb up there and do it and he just climbed up there and did it so kind of nice he said he he couldn't get, he didn't get to sleep until one o'clock because he was worried that we weren't going to be able to find a hose for him this morning. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we got a lot of trucks around the area. I'm surprised. I even tried, I was going to try the Napa store. I even tried searching out the part number on Napa and couldn't find it, so... Very nice. I told him that it felt right to stop and help him last night. I mean, it was a weird series of events. So, anyway, I'm going to get down here, do what we got to do, then go back and see if one of my neighbors is close. And uh, load up the two motors I need to. And, uh, Hopefully, maybe they found those bushings for that uh, Ford motor, so I can at least get that thing done. Anyway, I guess we'll go from there. That area, this, this freaking right knee has swollen up I'm back to gimping around on one leg. My left knee's okay. Right one, not so much here. Uh, found a buddy to come help me lift these two blocks and the parts the correct bushings for that shaft for the 4.0 should be here 1 2 o'clock this afternoon so I'm going to go up later this afternoon just a second here sorry
deal with that truck driver last night, that was just... I'm still very happy with that today. I mean, I... He just... Really cool. And he says, Bosnia is not part of Russia. He says, I'm closer to Italy, so... Not cool. That would be neat to travel. But. Anyway, so hopefully I got the 4.0 bushing so I can get going on that. And yeah, I said Latin, if you guys didn't watch it, I'm going to reuse the gears to this 4.0 because uh, the gear set I found online doesn't have all the gears yet either. So I guess that's what we're going to have to do. And now I haven't read up on that motor. I got home last night and my knee was killing me. And I was more worried about finding the parts for that semi. Which I had the part number, which was able to cross-reference. And got a gate hose for him, so... Yeah. It all worked out to be good. So... Uh, and I've already dealt so with some trash on the that. Blocked and deleted. Oh well, can't please everybody. Won't ever be able to please everybody. The world would be a better place if we could, but it's never it's not gonna happen. So I guess I'll wait for my friends to get here and uh we'll load this stuff up and have a little chit chat and we'll go from there. So alright. Sure drying up nice. Which is good because my cousin called me on the truck and instead of typing or got a, he messaged me instead of typing all out I called him and told him what happened he's like oh my hey, yep there's what's left of the <sighs> my water there's what's left of that the frame was actually pretty good body was shot let's see if I can reach over and get this Really? Dang water. Hey, uh, yeah, I need to make a thing for there. But anyway, uh, I really wish people would call me back when they say they're going to call me. I just called the machine shop. He said, well, don't come up between such and such time. I got a doctor's appointment myself today. I'm like, all right, call, call me. He's like, well, we're waiting on your bushings. They ordered the, the first set of bushings they got for that 4.0, or for the older 4.0, not the one we have. That's why they were wrong. So, okay. They got the correct ones in. He said they just came in. All right, so I'm heading up there. If I knew you guys would stay there, I think I'll have to get one of those Velcro mounts there. Uh, I got the two blocks and the pistons. And that, so I've been sitting around. Oh, yeah. I've been sitting around waiting to go and uh, I had to call him. Oh yeah, sorry. Anyway, I guess uh, we'll get up there. And I got one or two packages showing up today. And uh, get going on that stuff. So, alrighty. Talk about things changing fast. Right there. Back when the D, uh, VCR tapes were the big thing, that used to be the gas station video rental place. It was still standing there a couple weeks ago. They've been in love with the building and got that new building up already. I was like, wow. 
so things can change in a blink of an eye. I'm like, holy moly. So, well, I got the bushings for the Ford. I had to pay for them. I'm like, really, guys? They didn't. I'm like, well. So, I guess before I drive those in, I'm going to test fit that shaft and uh, see what's going on. And he used the exact same cam bearing driver as mine. So, I think that's the issue. I've got an idea. I'm going to make a tool. To hopefully put that in with. So, alrighty. I'm a little confused. Had three packages. I was like, whoa, wait a second here. So, uh, I guess we'll go in and figure out what those are. Hey, are you getting ready to set up to open these packages and um, get a phone call and there's actually a neighbor checking in on me to see how I was doing. Before we open the packages, so there, if you got a 2000, 2000, 2000, 2001 Ford, I don't even remember what the heck we're working on. Uh, the medication's getting to me, so it's a little foggy for me. But, uh, yeah, a whole big box for two bearings. See, there's nothing else. And, like I said, they then, well, we're just going to charge you what they charged them, charge us to get them here. I'm like, really? Well, before I get too crazy, we're going to see what happens. That would be like it going through. There's that one. Now, here. Look at that. Plenty of uh, looseness. Wow. That's what we should have had before. And we don't. So. Well. I. He goes, well, you want to borrow my Camry driver? I thought he had something else. And, uh. He brought it out. I said, nope, I got the same exact set. He's like, oh, okay. Which, same exact set as what I got. Gosh, freaking knee. Uh, like I said, if he had the long extensions out there and you ain't square to that and you tap her in and you roll that bushing, it's done. So I might have to go pick up some ready rod and I've got an idea about pulling that bearing in and uh, see so I'm not even sure what this one is I set priority three day I don't even remember. Me and eBay has been getting along too well. <laughs> Have to. Can't afford the locals. So, and I think this is eBay. And what do we got? And this is Holy moly! They're here already? Oh, and I guess Norton and I said thank you for purchasing again. I didn't realize I purchased from the same place. Wow! Last I knew, this was still being uh, a 60 over motor. There is the Should be the standard bearings already. And the last time I tracked these, these weren't even close to being here. Okay. Cool, that's always good. That's a cool box. Keep that one. Yeah. Say that, keep boxes, and then I end up throwing them out. This place is weird. Oh, 
keeps saying, and then it says, signature, please return with your urgent. But they're paid for. I don't know. Eh, nice surprise. Now, if I had the rods, we could have another. Well, the rings are on their way. I know those ain't here. And these are. Well, oh, there they are. Yep, standard. These were made. Holy crap. Wow, these are kind of fresh. Nine of 2017. Well, those are fresh bearings. And make sure. Huh, nice. like I said, nice surprise. Didn't expect these to be here. Nice new, standard. Nice, this. Never seen them. Oh, this set may this set may contain bearings designed with a new locating lug, and can be used with conventional style lug. Both lugs designs can be used together in an engine. Oh! That well, looks like the same. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. So, you, ain't it funny the release, the oh, the when you receive something, the This is where I need the wife to keep better track of stuff. Oh, this is okay. This is from 1A Auto. I got here fast. According to what I checked tracked earlier, this is still a day or two away. And it is. Let's see, what is it? It is the. from which place evap for that Colorado said the switch was bad and if I understand correctly that's clear back by the spare tire it's a bracket so okay we got that uh, uh, if the other parts got here, I could bring the Colorado out tomorrow. Or go get it and fix it, and then I'll be set for the next week. Ones will go like they're supposed to. Okay, that's that one, and we got one more. Oh! Well, oh, good thing they put it in a package the way this thing got treated. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well. Hey. I called them the other day. Ah, finally! There's the catalog I've been waiting for. And then they also included Pro Shocks and AFCO racing stuff. Cool! I called them and I said, hey, I got your hot rod version and I asked three times since the first of the year for the speed the circle track one the race catalog and she's like you ain't got it yet I said no I have not so she probably mailed these out to me so cool 
sending yeah, it's, uh, uh, Raisin Bead is customer said he ordered race catalog over months ago and has yet to receive so well oh, thank you Speedway cool now I can look up some stuff without going to the computer good 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 because there's a there we go, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Crankshafts, rods, ha <laughs> ha! Yep. That's what I wanted. Icon Pistons. Wow. Okay, cool. Yep. My old Keith Black 172 Pistons I used. They are 340 bucks. And I looked up, and you know, they've only gone up about $30 since the 80s. So, alrighty. Good. So I got a uh, package from Rock Auto coming. Now I gotta go check and see. What do I got coming? I got rings coming, a socket coming, and one other thing. Huh. That was quick. Oh! I got a friend that thinks I'm crazy for putting decals on my toolboxes. Well, they're my toolboxes. I guess if they don't like it, it means they ain't going to be touching it, huh? Had to do that. I broke down and had a Coca-Cola today. I just couldn't take it anymore. And another reason I picked Coca-Cola is something about Coca-Cola helps eat kidney stones. You know, it's a big old Polish fly. I was like, oh boy, what do we got fly flying around in here? But uh, I guess I found out last night, Mom Bear didn't tell me. I guess she broke down and went to the chiropractor because she's hurting, hurting bad. She's actually hurting to the point where if she thinks she eats, she's going to throw up. So she went to chiropractor and uh, it cost her 70 bucks and didn't get anything done other than an x ray. He took an x ray and he says, Nothing is out of line. He says, You've got severely pulled muscles. He wanted to put her on a muscle relaxer to help her ease the pain. God, that's a big ass fly. Uh, it's a big old horse fly. Big. And she don't like how the muscle relaxers make you feel. Um, so she refuses to take them. So. And the neighbor that just checked on me, I told her, I says, my knee swelled up again during the night. And I kind of had a feeling it would. I was hoping it would. And she says, well your body thinks the shots was an injury this time and that's why she says you just gotta sit around I'm like I can't I can't I can't it dried up very nice tomorrow's gonna be nice got a buddy coming buddy's coming down to uh, finish pulling that motor so once we get it out I gotta get it on the ground get the top end of it tore off and get the hot tank fired up which reminds me I need to take the barrel home and fill that up so I can bring out more water for the hot tank and get that stuff clean then disassembled and cleaned again and then crack check it and make sure nothing's broke and then uh, put them back together because cousin says he doesn't even want me to lap them while well, they're gonna get lapped 
and uh, I'll lap them, put them back together, put them on the motor, and we'll get her running. I got new seals and everything for them, so that'll work. And like I said, now I got the parts for the Ford. It's a beautiful day, but same time, I don't want to overdo my knee anymore because if I keep doing that, I'm going to be in real big trouble. So, yeah, I, I just. But the 350 stuff is going to be okay. <laughs> he goes, what happened to that block? I says, that's the one that you said was too tight and needs to be honed to fit the pistons. I finally got the pistons I want fitted. And, uh... <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> he don't even know what he's worked on for me or nothing, so... Which, that's okay, I mean... He goes through a lot of stuff, and there's stuff I don't remember myself, so it's not so bad. But anyway, I guess. Sorry, nothing really exciting today, but uh, nothing to really show. I want to sit here and look and some, look at look up some parts and that. I mean, I, that's that's a good thing. I finally got that, so. Now I gotta go check the internet to see what else is coming. I didn't think the bearings was gonna be here. And the rings will probably be here. I didn't realize they were that close. They're coming from Brookings, South Dakota, so that's not that far, so they could possibly be here tomorrow. So that'd be great. Now I just get the rods. Got another short block to build. Then I wanna get the race pan and another cam like I put in similar to the one that I put in that 6 inch and then we'll just be ready for a heads intake and the rest of that stuff so I guess see y'all later have a good one enjoy this nice weather <laughs>